what's been your experience so far with uh, for dealership? Dealers, always a good question. Um, the dealers, it's funny, there, there's, I, I'd say there's two strata of, of dealers. There's the one that still has their head in the sand to invoke uh, one of our rights images. Um, I, I interacted with this dealer. Like, yeah, we started a blog, I wrote four blog posts, and I didn't sell a car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, if that's the reason you were doing it, then I would suggest that you would have been disappointed, okay? But to those dealers that are more progressive, or that are more digitally savvy, or that just understand sales, that it's about relationships, they're getting on board. And we've got some training uh, programs in place. We've got 3,700 dealers across the country. You know, we're talking about trying to herd cats, especially because they don't report to us. They're you know, like franchisees, essentially. They're, they're independently run. Um, they want to know about this. They want to understand it. A lot of curiosity out there, a lot of experimentation going on from the dealers that use Twitter as a classified ad system, which I do not recommend, by the way, to the dealers who are setting up great fan pages on Facebook or even their own name networks, okay? All over the board. But they see the progress, they see the level of positivity, and they want to get on board with it. So I think we're going to see much, much more transformation over the next year or two in that space as well. We run into it on Yeah. Okay. Thank you, I, for inviting uh, me. Um, if you still have questions, you can probably try to pull Scott's coattail before you know I'm still here. We're going to take a quick five-minute break, and then we're going to um, we're going to get into April second.